Vancouver Island is amazingly beautiful and a must-see when visiting Western Canada. The Comox Valley and Campbell River areas are chocked full of adventurous things to do. They are one of the many great examples of what seems to be an infinite amount of places to see and things to do on Vancouver Island. Here are some must-dos of the Comox Valley and Campbell River areas. Located in Campbell River is Elk Falls. This is a beautiful thundering waterfall with some of the best salmon fishing year round in nearby rivers. To get to the waterfall you have to hike through a beautiful old growth forest which takes you to the Elk Falls suspension bridge. Right, just about to hit the suspension bridge at Elk Falls. Uh, I read that it's supposed to be one of the highest bridges in Canada. I think sitting at about 60 meters high so we'll see. We've crossed a lot of suspension bridges but it'll be cool to see waterfalls directly from this one, hey? Yeah, yeah, I'm scared too. <laughs> oh, yeah, mate. Sorry. Holy crap. You can see right through. <laughs> the one thing that I really appreciate about the hikes in BC is it smells so amazing. It's so fresh. And it's just like all this, I don't know. I don't know what it smells like. It's the ferns. It's just beautiful here on the heights. It's not just the sights, it's the smells. <laughs> I don't know why she did a goat at the end. <laughs> Next on the list is Mount Washington Alpine Resort. If you love being active outdoors, then this is the perfect spot for you. There are so many activities to do both in the summer and winter, some of which include zip lining, tubing, mountain biking, skiing, and much, much more. We're heading up to Mount Washington and do some mountain biking. See how it goes, it's a bit chilly today. It's, it's crazy how the temperature is like five to 10 degrees cooler here on the mountain compared to down below in the town of Comox and stuff. It's not crazy, that's normal, it makes yeah. sense. <laughs> 10 degrees, that's a huge difference. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna have fun. <laughs> I used to be like, I don't know, five times faster than I am now, but that's yeah, fun. It's not about speed for me anymore. It's about hanging out with this guy. You don't care about riding with your dad? Could you keep up with me? No, I'll always catch up to you on the jumps because... Yeah, I'm a little scared on the jumps, I'm old. How's the trail so far? We had a ton of fun mountain biking here. If you don't have mountain bikes, the hill has great selections of rentals. Mount Washington also offers a dual line zip line with four spans which comes with scenic views of the terrain below. In the winter Mount Washington is a decent ski hill with double black runs all the way down to green runs. Compared to a ski hill like Whistler it's much more affordable and can be just as fun. Make sure you check their website for all of the activities that they offer. Oyster River Potholes is a great spot if you're looking for some place to chill on a hot day. The emerald cool water is some of the clearest you'll ever see. It's a little tricky to find as you have to stop at the Oyster River overpass on the Inland Island Highway and hike down to the river. That was pretty awesome. We checked this place out, but everybody was so nice to us. Like it was like being welcomed by a family. Like everybody's <laughs> talking to us. Like, how are you doing? Yo, what is your camera? And guy jumped off a cliff for us, let us film him. And he's like, it was a cool shot. Can't wait to show it to you. It's a local secret spot. So if you get a chance, it's a must see. Another great spot is Nymph Falls Nature Park. It's just outside the town of Comox. All right, we're doing Nymph Falls here late at night. It's 7.30 at night. It's really close to Courtney, the town. There's a 4K loop that you can do, or you can just park in the parking lot and walk like half a kilometer right in. So let's see, it's supposed to be really pretty. And I think you can swim there as well, but it's a little bit cold, so we won't be swimming this evening. <laughs> no, we're really close. So it's taken us about 10 minutes to get to the falls, I think. Uh, they built it uh, so salmon could swim 
upstream. I don't know if your kids are like ours, but you can't drag them anywhere. And then once you get them there, you can't get them to leave because they like it too much. They don't like the transitions. No. <laughs> they don't like to come here. It's like, or let's go to the waterfall. Here. Yeah, you want to go to the waterfall? And then they're like, we're trying to leave now. And they don't want to go. They want to go. The water's hey, warm. You know, it's a good place when that happens, though. Yeah. Right? This 61 hectares park is filled with trails that you can mount bike on, hike, horseback ride, and walk your dog. The town of Courtney is a great place to stay. It's close to everything. It's got lots of great shops and restaurants as well. One of our favorite places to eat is a restaurant called Javier's, which serves Spanish food. It's so good. If you come here, you gotta have this. You gotta come to this place. It's so good. The food is out of this world and the owners are amazing. We have a passion and we are so thankful everybody who came to us. And when we say we have a guest, we don't have a customers, we have a, we have, is, this is our home and you are my guest. If you like coffee, Courtney's got some great coffee shops as well. We're trying Mud Sharks. Looks really good. Organic, 49 parallel bean. What's the verdict? How is it? I'd say five out of five. Five I out of five? Yeah. I no, love we're not doing ratings. Is it good? <laughs> it was awesome. I love 49th parallel beans. Yeah, I okay. really do. Although this is just a few of the many activities you can do in the Campbell River and Comox Valley areas, we hope these can get you started. If you're looking for more detailed guides on Vancouver Island, visit our website at www.adventurecapitale.com or watch many of our other videos on Vancouver Island. And oh yeah, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and click that like button for more fun videos.